Hi guys, welcome to Accessorize Your Life, where aging gracefully and accessorizing your life meets I'm Julia. I have been uh, really off my game, have not been filming the Shop My Stash videos like I was doing earlier this year. I just fell off the wagon for the month of April. But I do want to get back to it because I feel like I have um, some things I want to share with you and I want to get to using the makeup that I have here. So let's recap the makeup um, that I pulled from my stash the last time, seems like eons, that I uh, shot my stash. I was using uh, the high, oh uh, no, it's the um, Veil by Hourglass setting spray and it is a fine mist and I really like this spray. I have been using it even though I have not really been wearing foundation. I just put on my sunblock and then spray my face. So I do like that and I do like using it. No problems with it. I especially like the fine mist. When I do wear foundation, I've been using the Becca and it is the um, Ever Matte. And I did pick up a new one because you, as we know, Becca is no longer going to be making makeup. So I do have a new one, uh, and I got it from the 21 Days of Beauty sale from Ulta. Um, I did use the Natasha Denona, their uh, contour sculpting powder, a little. Not too much, but I'm going to keep it in my stash. I'm going to run it through again. I am wearing the blush, if you can see it now, by Laura Geller, and it is the Romantic Rose. I was inspired even then to wear these things related to nature and I um, pulled in the MAC Sieste, I think it is Sieste Chic or Chic uh, palette that I got from Nordstrom. I think this one is going to be decluttered because I'm really not using this and when I did I just felt like I didn't get any payoff. So this palette, and it's old, is going to be decluttered. Down there it goes. And I'm not sure what to do with this MAC palette. I was thinking I was going to declutter it, but the blushes, those are two blushes, but I use this one as a highlighter. They're still good, and I still like these shades. So I'm keeping this. I can't get rid of this yet. Even though it's two years old, I, I can't get rid of that. It was my favorite. And um, I pulled in the um, Flower, is it Flower Beauty? Yeah, they're... Um, a Pinch of Flower by Beauty Bakery. Yeah, their um, setting powder, and I'm going to keep this in my stash. And I had in here, and I did get to use it. It's this one. Oh, here it is. This is the Believe Beauty, and this is the Dahlia eyeshadow. I really like this. It's very pretty. So I am going to put that back. But I did use it some. And uh, what else do I have? I don't know if I had anything else in here. I had a bunch of brushes. And I'm going to put some of those back. And I had out uh, the MAC. Uh, this is one of their um, colors. Their single colors. This one is a pigment. And I think it was in a simple name. What is it? I can't see the name. Oh, tan. I know it was a simple name. Tan. Very pretty pigment. I enjoy wearing it. I think I'm going to leave it in my stash because it's just something. It's a nice topper that you just may want to put on. And um, everything else stays. Not much in here. I have some sunblock by Shiseido that's staying in here. Okay, now the fun part what I'm adding to my collection now. First of all, I was in Five Below and I found these brushes that I really wanted to get when they were first out. They're by Wet n Wild. This is the Rebel Rose Blush Brush. And I think it's a couple of years ago, it was out with a whole line of um, eyeshadow and things like that. And this is a blush brush, like I said. So I found it for $5 in Five Below. So I am adding it to my collection this month. And I should have gotten more, but I only got one of their um, Rebel Rose eyeshadow brush. And here it is. 
put on your eyeshadow and the stem is like a rose so you see I'm in to my nature theme after all let me take out these other brushes I think I can leave in some everything is a mess that's another reason I haven't been filming um, my whole house is a mess right now and I feel like my life is in chaos I'm trying to get it together so I'm taking out all these other brushes that I'm not using and I'm leaving those there okay so what am I using for uh, the shop my stash for right now I am pulling in the Mac fix plus it's in the cherry blossom it has a neat spray to it why am I squinching when I haven't opened it I forget how to open it oh yeah you push it over this way and then you mmm smells so nice I'm gonna put this in my stash and also from that collection I bought a um, two blushes it's in the packaging beautiful I don't know if you can see that it's like rose gold with a black matte and then cherry blossoms or your sakura is there and then the word Mac is in rose gold as well this one is look don't touch it's their extra dimension um, blush which is supposed to be really good this one is more of a peachy coral color and I'm hoping it shows up on me I'm excited to wear it I got this one second because I thought it could bring a little glow to my cheeks. And this is neat. It's not a mirror. It's just blacked out there on the top. So um, that's what it looks like right there. Right there. And the second one I got is in under my plum. I just love plum uh, blushes. Here it is. Same packaging. And it's beautiful. This is the one, my first choice. Gorgeous. And I saw someone do a video on these and she said you should put them on in a figure eight. So let's pull out this blush brush, dip in here. And she said you should, because if you smile, you put the blush there and you put your face down resting, your blush drops so she said just hold your face normally and do a figure eight when you're putting on your blush and you can't go wrong hmm. it's pretty so I have that in my collection and also from Mac what did I get I got a lippy so let's try it on let's wipe off what I have on and I got the lippy in Moody Bloom. I think that's off. Could pull up a mirror here. This is kind of like a all over the place video, guys. I just wanted to get it done. And if I procrastinated any longer, it would not have been done. So this color is a yellow I'm not putting it on very well am I a yellow a red with yellow undertones and all the other colors to me mm, it's pretty out there I think I have to be dolled up a little more for me to like it that much but the it's beautiful beautiful the capsule is isn't it but this one appealed to me the most out of all the ones that were offered. I don't know if it's a little too light for me or what, but yeah, I'm liking it. I'm going to keep it. And what else did I get from Mac? They gave me a free gift of two because I made two waters. And these are just their, it's a sample of the... Studio Fix Powder Plus Foundation, and it's in NC50, which is my normal shade, in the Studio Tech, which I'm keeping. No, I'm putting that away. I really like it, though. Um, I'm putting it away. This is the one I use. You get, uh, this is the Studio, Studio Fix Powder, 
and then you get a little sponge and I really don't think this is my shade in this formula that's in everything else so anyway that's there for what it is and I also made a purchase now this is so pretty that it reminded me of the outside but I got a sample when I ordered the the Becca I got a sample from Ulta of this is it here it is the Winky Lux white tea tinted veil and it is in deep and this is has an SPF of 30 in it and it's tinted so it's perfect for the warm months when you want a little coverage but you want your SPF well you have it in this by Winky Lux but I felt that the color they sent me was not deep enough it's right here it gave me a cast so I like the formula well enough and I said let me go to Target I think uh, you may have seen that video when I was out and about and I asked you to join me and I picked this up from Target the packaging the box is so pretty flowers all over it, it reminds me again of all things outdoors and so I ended up getting it in deep plus and it is perfect for my complexion if you can see that spot there I'm rubbing it in I don't want to rub it all the way I want you to see it so deep plus is what I got for myself and now it does have a scent and people complain about the scent but I gotta tell you the scent does not last that long it does not irritate my eyes or anything I like it I like it so I'm hoping that Minted uh, comes out with a tinted SPF um, moisturizing not foundation but just a tinted SPF so I have this to use so that's why I'm putting back the Mac but I'm keeping out the um, Beauty Bakery uh, pinch of flour so that's that Guys, I feel so rusty doing this. I am rusty. And um, I think I picked up, did I tell you that I picked? Yes, in my last shop, my stash. See, I'm all over the place because I'm forgetting what I purchased. I picked up the Current Affair. So I'm going to put this away until fall. I really like this. I really like that. I pulled out also my paint pot in Painily to try you know to experiment with it and I you know I like this all right too and then I also pulled out to play with it a bit the Maybelline color tattoo and I had this in knockout I bought this a while back and I thought to pull it out and just play with it a little bit that is what she looks like and I think I liked it so much that I went to Amazon yeah I did it's been a while guys I ordered what I could find in that Maybelline line of color tattoos that I thought would fit me it's for its colors and I got it in what's the name of this color here I got it in high roller which is number 30 and that's what she looks like high roller right there and I got it in, so we're going to pull that. And I got it in Trailblazer, which is 45. And this is what Trailblazer looks like. And let me show you. It has some specks in it, I believe. So let's put it back here. Trailblazer is right there. It's kind of a blue-gray, or almost a purple, but blue-gray. So it's right there. And don't mind this. This is from all the yard work I've been doing. Uh, digging holes, digging up plants, digging a hole and putting them in new areas. So I'm into these color tattoos right here, these singles. So I have those. I can throw away the containers now. And then I picked up another um, product from MAC, and it's their eyeshadow, and it's in Saddle, and it's a matte. And I've been wearing this one to work as my overall color and then throwing a liner on with it 
So saddle is just basically the color of my skin. Put it right there. Where is it? Right here. Really can't see it, but it's the color of my skin. And I've been wearing this to work and then putting on a liner, like I said. And uh, that's been uh, going great for me. I'm into these singles. And if that wasn't enough, I pulled out, for some reason, my IBY headliner. Now, this is something I got in um, one of those Ipsy bags or boxes you get. And I really like this color. So much so, can you see it there? That at the time, I went back and purchased their palette called City Limits. And it had in it headliner right there and some other colors so I'm pulling this palette to play around with because I like the IBY shadows and then if that wasn't enough Macy's was having a 15% off sale on the beauty products a little while back so I picked up and I think you saw that in that video where I took you along with me I picked up some IBY shadows so what did I get I got poolside from the poolside um, palette. I got get soaked, and that may be. Let's see if that's what's on my eyes now. Cause no, it's not. But this is get soaked. Let's put that right there. It's kind of a rosy color on the end here. Get soaked, and I picked up from the poolside. Splish Splash. These are summer shades, so I, I don't know if I'm going to keep them right now. That's what Splish Splash looks like. Now, I wore this to work one day. I loved it, but, but by the end of the day, I looked a mess because it. I don't know what happened. I stayed out too long, didn't touch up, but it is a beautiful shadow. I really, let's find a place to put it. Let's put it over here. It is a dual chrome. There it is in the middle. Can you see that? It reminds me of some of Pat McGrath's shadows. Love it. But it has to be used like on a day that I'm off and I'm aware of my makeup. So I am going to pull that one. Just showing you everything here. And then the other one I picked up that is another pools from the pool side, um, side palette is No Running. And see what this one looks like oh this is the one I'm probably wearing if you can see my eyes now yeah I'm wearing this so I don't have to swatch it this is what I have on my eyes right now and uh, this is pretty I think I'm going to save a couple of these for maybe um, next month like the purple maybe I won't, the one I'm wearing now I'll probably wear that later on and I'm going to keep in this rosy or mauve one. I'm going to keep in Get Soaked. Going to put in a giveaway along with something else I had. Oh, I told you that I was going to put this one in the giveaway because it is the same as the one I already have, Headliner. So this one I am uh, keeping for myself, but I have one that's not open that's going in a giveaway. Why am I getting confused over all these little shadows? So put that away. And do I have any more? Yeah, that's it, I think. I think that's it. That's it. No. I have one more. And it is Midnight Sky. And Midnight Sky really has some sparkles in it. And it, I'm going to put it below the Maybelline Color Tattoo in um, Trailblazer. This is Trailblazer and this is IBY's uh, Midnight Sky. Very pretty blue. I'm attracted to the blues. So this is Midnight Sky and this is Maybelline Trailblazer. Two blues. And I think Maybelline has a little more, it's a little brighter with a little more sparkle to it than IBY which is has some sparkle but it's a little deeper. Okay, so those are my singles. I did pick up a lip that I want to include in this week's or stash, and it's the Superstay uh, Matte Ink by Maybelline. 
I won't put it on, but it reminds me more of the cherry blossoms. A little deeper. I'll show you what it looks like right there. Very pretty. So that's going in. And guys, I think I have one more thing. I've got a spray. I've got foundation or a tinted moisturizer. I have contour. I have blushes. I have lippies. Yeah, I have brushes. So this is the last thing. And this was definitely an impulse buy because I saw it in the Ulta Beauty catalog um, that's out now. And I could not get it out of my mind. Like I said, uh, or I wanted to say, if I hadn't said it already, I've been interested in all things nature and outside. And I've been watching a couple of uh, videos on van life. It is uh, like solo female van life. And they're traveling across the United States in their uh, glammed out vans or whatever. And... Um, I think it's an interesting life. I think it's an interesting way to see the United States. So I enjoy watching um, that. And so I was inspired um, to pick up this palette from watching all the van life um, videos. And then I was inspired by my Sakura or Cherry Blossom tree outside to pick up the MAC shadow or collection, Cherry Blossom collection. And I've been watching a lot of creative uh, Gardenista. She has a YouTube. I'll link it below. I am not, I'm not even sure if I'm subscribed to her channel yet, but I want to subscribe. I am subscribed to Antoinette Yvonne's uh, channel, and she does van life. Uh, she's a solo female van uh, lifer or person who uh, just travels around and tells you the ins and out about van life. So that's what inspired me to pick up this cute little palette. It is the Milani Gilded Getaway. How cute is that? And again, it is in the circular for this month from, there it is, from um, Ulta. And it's, their collection from uh, Milani is Gone Glamping. Now, I didn't pick up anything but the palette, and it's a limited edition, and it's $19.99, and of course, you can use your coupon, and I think it brings it down to $17 and change. I rounded up for the donation, so it was $18, and um, I could not see what it looks like in the store. I just bought it from what I saw in the catalog. You get a mirror on top, and then here are the colors, and the colors have some interesting names. Uh, this one here is called Kindle, and this one is Campfire. This one is Happy Glam Life, that yellow looking one. The gold is Vacay Goals. This um, kind of brown, orangey brown is Oasis. And this brown, burgundy kind of brown is S'mores for hashtag or for um, I can't read that. S'mores, they don't have the names on the back. S'mores Fun or um, something, I can't read that. And this one is Chillax, if you can see it down here, Chillax. This one is a, a frame, a frame. This one is good vibes only, kind of a goldy color. And succulent is the green one. And the blue green is tremendous, tremendous. <laughs> I would think the green would be. And this one is the last one with all the shimmer. It's under the stars. So I haven't swatched these yet. I've only just opened it, only just got it. So uh, it's Gilded Getaway, and that is what I will be using for the next few weeks. And with, um, I don't know what shadow to choose from. So I think what I'm going to do is um, put these in, and then we will, I'll turn the camera around, I guess, and uh, put these in my tray and I'll choose which of these singles I'm going to use. I'm all over the place this time. But anyway, um, thank you for watching and I hope you uh, enjoyed the Shop My Stash where I have been dipping into nature with some of my makeup selections and, and purchases and also into the um, Van Life or Glamping with the Milani 
Gilded Getaway palette. Okay, so let me put everything away. Alrighty, I forgot to mention that I got this um, poor professional from Benefit as a free gift or points from my Ulta order, I believe. So I'm adding this to my Shop My Stash for this month. And here is the little bottle. So we will try that. I don't even know if it's a cream. I don't know anything about it. I don't think I've tried it before. So here we go. Let's put everything away. that's it. I've decided to not use any of the other singles right now because I think the IBY City Limits palette has enough shades and that are similar to those and also the uh, Milani Getaway um, palette has quite a few shades that are similar to those colors too that are in the individual pans or pots. So Looking forward to using this and seeing how those shadows work for me. I only have one other Milani palette and um, it, I wasn't a fan of it. But anyway, we're going to try this one, especially since the packaging is so stinking cute. Okay, again guys, I'm signing off. Thank you for watching and I hope to be back soon with another Shop My Stash. Maybe next week or the week after. Toodaloo!